okay to have a little fun with hyperbole because we should believe in your brand and your products. Otherwise, switch jobs. Or switch products, but maybe not another one. Okay, I think I'm probably way over, but I'm going to go really quick. This is a really bad scene from Star Wars, but you see that scene where Obi-Wan, after they've blown up Alderaan, the Death Star, blow up the planet, and he senses a disturbance in the Force. That's what I call social media. Okay? Social media does allow me to listen to customers. My dream, which we're doing now, is you can tweet while you're in Best Buy. Send a tweet to 12 Force. I did not come up with that word. It's horrible. <laughs> But you can send a tweet, and you'll get an average of four to five responses in under a few minutes. The first one probably under two minutes. There's 3,000 of them. What if I had all 160,000 using mobile devices or tablets? And they can look up any answer. The future of Best Buy is you walk in there, and it's not that they have to know anything, because we always criticize hourly retail employees as not knowing anything, which is a bit of an unfair criticism, especially the rate and volume of products. Apple sells a couple products, very small product line that talk to their products. We sell everything else and have to know a little bit of everything. So, but I believe they don't need to know everything. How many times a day do you use Google? 10? 20? How many people have taught themselves something they've never done before using an internet video? Right. Two things are happening. One is you're feeling more confident. You're opting more into technology. You'll shop with us more. You're also learning to do more. You can ask better questions, which actually makes it easier to help you. But our employees are doing that too. And you know what? They don't even know anything. The future is this. Hey, welcome to Best Buy. I don't know shit. What do you want to do? <laughs> <laughs> I want to play audio in every room of my house. Ah, oh, cool. Is that possible? Let's find out. You don't want somebody who thinks they know everything because nobody knows everything. You get somebody who knows everything. Yeah, you don't want to buy it. You don't want to buy those Macs. Those are for fanboys. You want Windows, you know? I don't know what you want when you walk in and these are your new Let me talk to you. What does he want? Are you a traveler? Huh? You got a budget? So, I think we're going to enter, uh, for me, the most important skill going forward is curiosity. I just want somebody who's like, ah, I love them at Best Buy. I think it's going to be like working at the reference desk at the library. Every customer is different. And my job is to figure you out. What do you want to do? You're afraid of technology? We'll find something easy. You got a budget? We'll find something there. And you know what, if we don't sell it, I'll look it up on eBay and I'll give you the link and use my tablet. This is where the tablet, I think, is going to finally cross the last great service chasm in retail. That's why I'm still at Best Buy, because there's still so much that's messed up. What if we just use Google Voice at the end of the fourth ring of Best Buy? Hey, I'm so sorry that we're helping other people, uh, but leave a voicemail. Your voicemail will be transcribed to Google Voice, and it'll be sent as a text message to somebody on the floor and will call you back in three minutes. Would that be good enough? Right. They're going to do it. So we're listening to our customers. Because customers are self-organizing. They know their power. This is a snowball fight. You know what's so fascinating about the snowball fight? It occurred in Washington, D.C. during one of those two massive snowstorms. The first one, some kid went on Facebook and said, snowball fight, the corner of 10th and K Street tomorrow. 200 people showed up. <laughs> These are photos from the snowball fight a week later. 2,000 people showed up. That's how you resolve the health care crisis in Washington. Red <laughs> <laughs> states, blue states. <laughs> this is the photos they took from the event. They were able to share it. They were able to use the gadgets. The stuff we're selling is not entertainment anymore. It's social. It's political. It's empowering. People are spending more money on these gadgets because they're getting more human. They're touch based. These, watch the videos of these two year olds with the iPads or the 90 year olds with the iPads. My mother loves her iPad. Never used a computer before. It's like, oh, I can just bring it so close to my eyes, I can't actually like it. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you're saying. You can actually adjust the viewing angle. It's so human. The technology is becoming more human. This is the point of the internet. To share, not to depersonalize, to re-personalize. Twitter, who would have thought? Who would have thought 20 years ago the most popular form of communication? is a 140 character limited service that has immense power. There's a little 12 force thing. Go on YouTube and watch the 12 force videos. Um, that's just the beginning of what we're going to do. And I, know I think every company really should do this. And this is the last thought I'll leave you with, is network yourselves. If every employee could talk to every other employee in your company, they'd know everything and everything else. And yet they wouldn't need to know anything. How liberating is that? You don't have to be an expert. You don't have to be a know-it-all. So instant messaging. 
tablets now allow the employees to carry on the sales floor. Going into it, we type in Geek Two Minute Miracle. We've been making two minute videos for like a year or two. <coughs> now we've got somebody going, what's the difference between LCD and OLED? You know what? I'm going to look that up. I bet a blue shirt somewhere in the ocean made a video about that. So all of you can make videos very easily. We've been indexing all, every question and answer you ask, we've been indexing it. Call on Twitter, you can do it too. So our blue shirts can actually copy answers from other blue shirts. Uh, I'm just going to whip through this really quick. These four screens are relevant to all of you because these four, the fourth and final screen is coming, and that's this tablet. You got one about the size of your hand, it fits in your pocket. That's why the pocket is not going to really change size because the human hand isn't going to change size. So the whole is always going to be about this big. And you have another screen here. It's going to change education, retail, healthcare, and service. What does a tablet mean for your business? It allows you to completely reimagine it. And if you can imagine, what the PC did to business 30 years ago, 20 years ago, or what the internet did 20 and 10 years ago, what will the tablet do? I believe it's the most significant physical device to come out since the mobile phone. And they look at the country. The flat screens have our first smart TVs this Christmas, Google TV. You can make a Skype call. I do Skype calls on Thanksgiving. I'd like to have them up on a 60-inch screen, always on. So you can just leave it on and watch your relatives get drunk and say business. <laughs> <laughs> Objects are going to become social too. This is a little app called Sticky Bits. And devices are going to become social. They'll be able to tell a story and keep track of things like fitness. Fitness is going to be a major category at Best Buy where your wristwatch will monitor your glucose. You've all been sitting now for an hour. Your metabolism has already started changing. You know, your mobile phone could remind you to get up, <laughs> stretch. Don't feel bad if you don't have willpower. I dropped 40 pounds last year using an app on Android called Cardio Trainer. It turns your fitness into a video game. It just says, get up, move. And you ride your bike, it keeps track of everything you do. Business is going to change everything. And if I were a healthcare company, I'd cut your insurance in half if you could prove to me that you actually work 